Good afternoon all. Just going to uh, to share my screen uh, and just make sure that you take a look through the disclaimer here on uh, on our side and that should be visible for you now. Um, going to give a couple of minutes for people to collect in the uh, in the chat but it would be great if you can pop a quick message into the chat on the side just confirming if you can uh, if you can indeed hear me. Perfect. Thank you, Brian. So yeah, just like I said a moment ago, just going to let some uh, give some time to uh, for people to collect. But do familiarize yourself with the disclaimer on screen. Take a look through. Um, this webinar will be recorded and saved online as well. So if you miss anything or want to go back over anything afterwards, then uh, then of course feel free to uh, to do so. Uh, this is the second webinar that we've hosted in this style. What we're really looking to do is just cover the basics of the trading platform to ensure that we're filling you with the confidence. So when it comes to the time that you're looking to trade, you can act on your own, act confidently and just make sure that you can uh, basically pursue the investments and trades that, you, uh, that you're after. Um, so, yeah, giving it a couple of minutes for, uh, for people to collect, I think we'll, uh, we'll kick things off. So if I just minus this off, we'll open up the, the trading platform to kick things off. So. For those of you who are well versed or first time logging in, we'll uh, we'll just address everything. If there's any questions along the way, I've got it open on the side, so please do just fire them over. What you'll notice when you first log into the uh, to the platform, you'll uh, be asked a few questions, just general platform setup. But once you work your way through that, you'll be taken to the screen that, that you have in front of you now. Our platform is split up into three main sort of modules. So you have our trading, research, and then portfolio. Trading will focus on first, research and portfolio we'll get into later. But this is a, the first sort of element and the sort of most important um, for what we're looking to uh, to achieve this evening. And if we start from the top left, you'll see that we have our watch list section, screener, alerts, and then Saxo Select. So first off, starting with the watch list, when you first log in, you have a number of different templates. These will be preset by Saxo and really just sort of showing you the products that we have, the breadth of asset classes that we offer. But you don't have to sort of utilize these. If you want to set up your own watch list, then of course you can do so. And it's very, well, very easy to do. So if you take your cursor from the top left corner here to this top right to click new, you're able to set up a new watch list. Here you can name it whatever. So if I just type in Elliot's watch list, you can save it and it'll pull up a blank, blank screen for you. You see the name here in the top left and hit next to it, you see a search bar. Within this, you can use the search bar, like any, like a search engine, like a Google search bar, whatever it may be. You just type in the ticker, the name of the instrument, the ISIN, whatever you have to hand. So if we just add a few stocks in, we can look at say Apple to begin with. And all I did there was typed in the name Apple and you see a number of different assets come back. You see they're depicted with different symbols on the left hand side. We have CFD, we have equity, bond. And basically what we're looking for if you're wanting to trade the individual stock, it's marked with the yellow EQ symbol. And this you see here, stock. So that's all you need to, uh, to really focus on. We do offer CFDs, of course, and we do offer bonds as well. But just to keep things simple, we'll add in the equity, which we already done so. If you are looking for other companies, you can add them in. So if we look at say Tesco, again, same process, just click it. And you'll pop it into the uh, to the watch list here. What you can then do, so once you've got your watch list together and your few sort of target uh, investments, all you need to do is click onto the name in the watch list, and it'll take you over here into the product overview. So just to quickly run through this, what you have here is a breakdown and an overview of Apple Inc. the stock. So you have the current trading price, the bid, the ask some sort of details about the trading session in the last 52 weeks. You can scroll down on these. You can sort of view news articles that are coming out, recent quotes, recent events, but I'll leave that for you to, uh, to uncover. 
if you want to toggle through, you can have a very basic chart here just going over the last six months, the year. You can get a feel for how the stock has been trading. And once you're happy with all that, all you really need to do is take your cursor over to the top right corner, this blue button here that says trade. Once you give this a click, it will open up a new trade ticket for you that you can then start inputting your order type and you can actually sort of begin trading or at least placing an order with the aim of purchasing the stock. What you'll see here is we have three different order types. What we'll be focusing on today will be the market and the limit order. If you do want to pursue our more advanced orders, all you need to do is click here. But this is really just looking at the sort of basics of the trading platform uh, and ensuring that we gear you up the right tools to kick things off. So market, what this will basically do is it will go ahead and purchase the amount of shares that you select at the market rate. So it's irrespective of the current price, it's gonna go ahead and buy, in this case, say 10 shares, and it's gonna do so for you right away. If you have a price in mind or a level at which you want to be filled, you can either click on the word market and change it to limit, or you can use the arrows to the left and right to flick between the two. What you will notice when you click on the arrow to the right, when you change it to limit, you'll see a price field appears. And with a limit order, what you can do here is you can set a price limit or a tolerance of which you want to be filled at. So currently it's trading at 162.81. But you say, I only want to buy this at $160. What you can do is you can input a limit order at $160. And you can basically say to the system, I only want to buy these 10 shares when they're trading at this level or better. At the bottom, you see there's a duration. GTC means good till cancelled. So this order will sit in the market waiting to be filled until these 10 shares have been bought at this level. If you want to change this and you're only interested at this price for a day, Again, all I did there was click on where it says GTC and you can change the duration. What I will be able to do is pull this up on a demo trading account, which you're all more than welcome to sign up to and get access to just to do a bit of paper trading. But uh, all I'm doing here is clicking on Apple again in the watch list, cursor to the top right, and you can key in the order here. So if we go market and we go 10 shares, what you'll notice here is a button down the bottom that says show details. So if you haven't got this switched on, give it a click and it will show you your trade fees, the value of the trade, and then your cash available. The live platform will be a little bit more in depth and show you a bit more information. But again, this is just a trial or demo environment that will show you the basics of the platform. One important thing to, uh, to address before we place the order, um, it's very important to uh, employ sort of strict risk management um, on the account. So what we do have here is the ability to add a take profit or a stop loss order. So all I did there is click that blue text here, add take profit slash stop loss. And what you can do here is add, as again, a take profit or a stop loss on the account. So what you can do is a take profit allows you to set up again an order to the system to sell off the trade and book the profits at a certain level that you set. Stop loss does the inverse and just ensures that you are only limiting a certain amount of risk to your portfolio or position. So if we say take profit, give take profit a click, you can click a limit and we can set it as a percent, a price, ticks or a sterling value in this case. What we're wanting to do is say set it as a percent. So what you can do here is say I want to sell this position off and I want to book my profits once we've gained 5%. So type in five, click away, and that will be set up there for you. Stop loss, what we want to do here is we want to set a stop order. We want to put it percentage away, click the X here, and you can say, I only want to risk 10%. And what this is doing is it's going to head and carrying out a market order. So we're buying 10 shares at the best available rate. That will be filled for you right away. We're then telling the system that once we make 5% in profit, we want to cash out, we want to sell the stock, and we want to basically have that profit locked in and taken away. On the stop loss side, we're telling it, we want to only risk 10%. So we want to say, get me out of this trade after it's dipped below 10%, and the system will act on that automatically so you don't have to be present on the platform. Once you've given this all the once over and you're happy with it, you can click the blue button here that says place order. It'll take you through to a confirm order ticket, 
and it will just give you a run down here. So we're buying 10 shares at market. We've got take profits at 170 spot 88, 5% above, and a stop loss at 146, 10% below your trade fees and the nominal value. If that all looks good to you, what you can do here is click confirm and the order will go ahead and be placed for you. You get a number of notifications appearing in the top right corner that shows the orders being placed. So the stop loss and the take profit orders that are attached and then the trade confirmation itself. So all of this will be up here, it will pop up. But if you wanna get rid of it, you just click okay and it will disappear and recede to the top corner. What you'll now see is we have the positions tab down the bottom has started to become populated. So we have the Apple Inc stock, we're open, we're long, which means we've bought the shares, quantity of 10, position open, your P&L and everything will be broken down here. One handy tool on the, uh, the platform is this little eye button or the information button, and this will give you a breakdown of your position. So it gives you the orders that we have in position, the take profit, the stop loss, the status, when you opened it, the conversion, if there was any commissions and such will be broken down here. And that'll be for every position that you have opened up on the account. If at any point you want to close it off, all you need to do is take your cursor over to the right hand side of the screen where you have your position. You click close. And again, you can set it to market or you can set it to limit. So if you're wanting to sell it at a price or better, you can pop it in at 170. It will sell that position off once it hits 170 plus, or you can have a market order and you say, I want him to close out. You click close position. Again, go through the confirmation. You click confirm and that position will be sold out. Let's do that one more time. And that position will be sold out. So this will now be squared off. It will appear on the platform until the end of the day when they are netted off. That's how you get in and out of, uh, of the trades. What I'll do is I'll flick back through to the live account now. And again, we'll go back to the top left corner. So we've gone from watch lists to the product overview and we've placed our first trade. If you're then wanting to search for other opportunities on the platform and search for positions that may be of interest, the screener tool is a great way of doing this. So what you can do is if you see here, we have a screener tool and the filter list function. So what this allows you to do is basically sort through the thousands of different products we have on the platform. And you can search for certain stocks in certain industries and just allows you to hone in on a particular investment that meets your parameters and, and meets your uh, desired sort of uh, investment analysis. So if you have stocks, you can say countries and regions, and we're interested in stocks listed in the United Kingdom. So give that a tick. And this will then start pulling stocks only listed in the UK. You can then look at certain sectors. So we only want companies that are in the energy sector within the UK. And then we can then look at market cap and we can look at companies that are over 500 million market cap. So you can go very complex with this. You can dig down into the fundamentals and more on the technical analysis side as well. But if we leave it like that, quite basic, you can set up your parameters and this can be in any one of these sectors on any one of these exchanges that we offer. You can go very granular with this. Once you're happy, you click done. You've got a list here that you can order by popularity, alphabetically, the dividend yield, whatever it may be. And you can pick your investments from here. If you're wanting to save this, all you do, go to the top right corner, click save, type in, again, we can just call it one, two, three, just for ease, save the screener, and it will save it here in your drop down list. So we have one, two, three here, and this will be visible for you whenever you log back into the account. Again, just showing you how we get things into our top right corner. You click on the stock, place it into the top right corner for you where you can carry out a bit more of your analysis, look into this analysis section, the fundamentals of the company. Then when you're ready, just click trade and enter the order as we did before. We do have the alerts tab. And this is a way of being able to trigger alerts on the system. We'll quickly go over this one. So if you type in say Apple again, you can then say set conditions that if the traded price is trading at this level to ping me a notification and do it within the next two months. And this is repeating. So every time that it happens, it will send me a notification 
and you can add a comment as well just to say uh, long, short, whatever you're wanting to remind yourself to do. Click apply, that'll be saved here and that will ping me every time it reaches this trading level. Saxo select, and here we go. There's a nice notification and an example of how that works. To ensure that doesn't bother us, we can just click delete, delete the alert and go from there. Saxo select, just something to really quickly glaze over. It's our managed solutions. So if you are wanting to utilize this, please do take a look. You have to answer a suitability test. So a short series of questions, just assessing your risk profile and you can get full access to the different portfolios that we have. Once you're here, just very quickly again, if we take our sort of cursor over to the right hand side, you can click charts. And if you're wanting to basically see how a certain position has been trading over a period of time and you're a little bit more advanced than what we have here, click on charts. You can then use the toggles in the top right to change it from say a candlestick just to a simple line chart. You can zoom in and out and you can set your charts to however you would like them to look. But again, we're not gonna go sort of too far and too deep into this. We're just looking to, uh, to really cover the basics. Down the bottom, we looked at the positions tab, but we also have orders, order and trade blotter and close positions. So in the orders tab, when we place the market order, we wouldn't have one of these pending because the market has, or the order has been carried out at the market price and been done so already. If we move back onto the demo screen, we can show you what it looks like when you have an order there. So say if we have Apple here, we set it to a limit order and we put it at 150, so below the market value to buy. And we click place order and confirm. It will populate your orders tab here. So you'll see the Apple Inc stock by 10, 150, currently at 162. So this won't go ahead and buy it because it's trading above where you've basically allocated the funds. So I'm happy to buy at 150. It's trading at 162. The system isn't going to execute on this until it dips below. So just to show you how we got there, bottom left, positions, and then orders. If you're wanting to modify this, take your cursor over to the right hand side, button here that says modify it, you can change the price up to 160 if you'd like, change the quantity if you're wanting to, and then you can modify the order with a few clicks. And you'll see that's updated here. Again, all the change in the top right. If you decided that you're no longer interested and no longer wanting to actually purchase this stock, simply click cancel, cancel the order, and the system will, uh, will basically go ahead and do that for you right away. So very responsive, very intuitive, um, but uh, a few things that will, uh, will help you out along the way. The order and trade blotter and the closed positions, this will basically show you any orders that have been placed over a certain period of time. So you can keep a log and track of how you've been interacting with the system. Closed positions will show you anything that's been closed over the last week period or whatever you decide to, uh, to have shown to you. And Saxo Select Investments, if you have anything invested in Saxo Select, they will appear here. We do have the option chain, so we do offer options here at Saxo across a very wide breadth of products. If you are interested in them, we have some great sort of tutorials and guides that have been hosted on previous webinars with the Korean Academy, and all of this can be found in the research section of our account. We'll get onto that afterwards, but I guess we've, we've covered the sort of main basics with regards to the trading element. But uh, what really is important is to understand how to actually operate the back end of the account and manage the deposits and transfers, get in contact with our support team, whatever it may be. And you'll notice these icons in the top right. These are very important. We have your inbox where we can show you alerts about withdrawals, about anything that's basically ongoing. We've got notifications like the price alert we set. Here is our insights tab. So this will be anything that flashes up. So related to our watch lists, related to our Q2 outlook. We'll cover that in a bit more de detail. And then this button here with the, the question mark. This one's very important. So this is how you get in contact with our support team. We have a number of different articles you can access with a few clicks. So there'll be predefined responses to these questions. And if you're wanting to then say, get in contact with us, because none of these are working, you click contact us because you can't find the answer. I'm interested in discussing trading queries, cash deposits and withdrawals, whatever it may be. Click that, click general inquiry, and then you can either chat with them. So this can be a live chat function. You can call the team or you can write to them. 
So give us a click. If you're ever struggling or ever need any assistance, this is the best way to get in touch with us. A live chat is a great function. It's what we recommend. Just ensures that you've got instant access to the team and someone there on the end that will be able to help with your query. So just again, just to show you how we got there, you click the question mark top right. If you can't answer your query here, click contact us, follow the steps that are most basically related to your question and you can do so on that, that page. And then if you go to the top right corner, there's a profile icon. This is where you can do a lot of the uh, management of the sort of back end of your account. You can pull reports and get a lot of, uh, of helpful, uh, helpful resources. So if you click that person in the top right corner, Working from the top down, you can update your personal information, refer a friend, you can manage your platform settings. So just to give that a click, you'll then be able to go through the back end of the account. Won't go into too much depth, but I would recommend to have a look through because again, it will allow you to toggle on some features that aren't as standard. Trading products is an important one. If you're wanting to get access to different product sets and different asset classes, you click on trading products, you will need to take a test to get yourself appropriate and you can enable and disable instruments with a couple of clicks. So very simple, very straightforward. If you're wanting to get live pricing on the platform, you can do so here as well. So subscribe to market data. You give that a click and you can go through the options here. So you see we offer stock exchanges, futures and options, and then news services. So if you're looking at say London listed stock, you come down, you'll find at London Stock Exchange, we offer level one and level two data. If you're interested in what they are, you'll find them at the top. Level one just ensures you have live pricing, charting, best bid and ask, two gives you that, but with market depth as well. If you come down further, you have the other tab and this shows you upcoming margin, classical changes, API access, activity log, a lot more in depth and involved. But again, just keen to show you where that is. If you're looking at setting things up and say an ISA account, you can click the function here and you can request an ISA account. Fill in the details and that way you can open up the ISA. Very relevant, it's actually the end of the tax year today. So if you're looking at setting up an ISA account and being tax efficient for the uh, for the new tax year, ensure you get your ISA opened up with Saxo. That's 20,000 pounds yearly allowance and that's a tax-free product that we offer. You can invest into equities, bonds and ETFs. If you come down further, we have Saxo Rewards. This is a way of tracking your account tier and the, the, uh, the pricing structure that you are on. We'll cover that in a bit more detail afterwards. But if you then wanting to request account services, you can use this to move positions, request new trading instruments, enable short selling listed options, and to close your account. Hopefully we can, uh, we can help you to avoid that one, but it's there in case you ever need it. Account status, again, if you're wanting to reclassify, we'll leave that for you to uncover. Any questions, please do reach out to us. One important part of this is the deposits and transfers element. So if you give that a click, it'll pop open this window. And what this will allow you to do is it allows you to pull instructions to fund your account. So say we've got a sterling account here and we're funding it in GBP, and this will give you the instructions. So you need to carry this out on your side. Just simply log in, you can pull local, or international instructions. The recipient bank details are here if you need them. And this is the easiest way to get funds into the account. We do allow for a debit card transaction as well. It is noted as credit card, but it will only be a debit card that's permitted. And you can add on a new card by simply selecting the card type, sterling, the amount you're wanting to put on, and it will start working for you. Once that's done, you click next and you go through all of the details here but we'll leave that for another time. If you have sub accounts open, you can move funds from one account to the other. If you have a portfolio elsewhere, so you've been working with another broker, you can do so here. So you click new transfer, key in the details, and we'll liaise with your previous broker to move items over. And if at any point you're ever looking to withdraw funds, if you've used a bank transfer, we'll have actually saved these details. So you can withdraw back to that account, and all you do is select the account you're wanting to withdraw from, the amount you're wanting to withdraw, and then you click transfer and you're good to go. And that's really that part covered. And again, just showing you where you find all of this, my profile in the top right corner, and you can sort of toggle things from this element. 
One, uh, one thing I have noticed, we have a question from the chat. Um, and this is asking if we can short sell the stock. How do we send the order through instead of going long? So with Saxo, again, just sort of showing you the product set that we have. With a regular stock or an equity, you can only go long on this instrument with Saxo. If you're wanting to go short, you have to utilize a CFD. This does require the product to be enabled for one, but does also implement some leverage and margin to the account. So it does carry a little bit more risk. And we do advise that you are fully read up on the product before you interact with it. So if you're wanting to go short on a stock, again, pull the stock up, click trade, and then instead of buy, we set this to sell and you can key in the order from here. And just to show you what this looks like, we'll pull the demo up again and we'll do the same. So if we have a product like Apple listed as a CFD, you'll see other instruments, you can click it here or use the search bar on the top right. Apple, click on the CFD, trade, and then instead of buy, we click sell. We'll change this to market to make sure it goes through and we can put 100 shares. And what we're doing here is we're placing an order and we're going short. So now you'll see 100 Apple short and this allows you to play the downside of the market. So you're anticipating Apple to fall lower than 162 and you're wanting to profit from that opportunity. Trades exactly like the stock does. So again, if you're wanting to close it out, click close, close position, and you're all good to go. So I hope that answers the, uh, the question in the chat. And again, just a reminder to anyone, if there's anything that's not clear or anything you want to go back over, please pop it into the, um, to the chat section on the side. I'll, uh, I'll be happy to, to help. What we can now do is, um, is go into our sort of research section or research portion of the platform. And all you need to do is take your cursor to the top where it says trading, click over to research, and you'll be able to pull up the platform from here. So if we go over to starting the top left, the overview section, what you can get an understanding here is how the global indices have been trading today. So you've got the US 30, the NASDAQ, S&P, the FTSE 100, and you can get a good feel for the whole sort of offering that we have and how the global markets have been trading today. We stream to you top news stories. These have been powered by Dow Jones. Again, just works like a carousel, so you can click through and anything that interests you, give it a click, it'll pop it up. And what our system is, it's quite smart. So if you like the article or you gain anything from it and you're wanting to then actually interact with it, we put, put uh, related instruments up on the right. So you can then give them a click and you can pull the product overview, trade and interact with the ticket based on what you've just read. If you scroll down, we have trending stocks, trending FX, commodities, CFDs and such. So there's plenty for you to uncover. Again, if you're interested in anything you see here, you click on the name, pops up the product overview, you can read through it and trade whenever you're ready. If you do come down, one thing, if you're interested in sort of keeping up to date, if you're interested in what our Saxo Strats teams have to say, we have a market call hosted every morning. You can jump on and listen to it on Apple, Spotify, Podbean, whatever you listen to your podcast on, you can jump on. We have a slide deck that you can pull up as well. It's shared on our social medias, but it's a great way of keeping up to speed. It's a really interesting piece and that's hosted every morning by uh, Peter Garnery on equities and John Hardy hosting on FX. We do have other speakers that join in, but they're the main two that host it. We have our uh, global sort of macro analysis every morning posted as well. If you digest information via text a little easier, you can get yourself familiar and that's again, overview section, so scrolling down slightly. We have highlighted research from our strategy teams. So we have Forex covered, bonds, equities, everything, every portion of the market, every asset class that we cover. We have a strats team member allocated towards it and you can read what they have to say. We have our trade signals. I'll cover this later on in the section and then our highlighted macro events. So if you're wanting to know when PPE data is coming out, employment data, if you're wanting to understand when the central banks are going to make their rate decisions, all of that is streamed to you here. You can click show more if you're interested in seeing what else the day has to offer. If you come to the top left, we have the markets tab. And once this loads up, again, it will show you the products that we have to offer, stocks, CFDs, commodities, and the like. 
stocks. This shows you the most popular global stocks that we have listed on the platform. And this will be by basically client activity. So the ones that we have that are most interactive with. And again, we then break this down by region. If you're wanting to trade in dollars and you're interested in US stocks or Europe and wanting to trade in euros or Danish krona, whatever it may be, you can get a breakdown here. We do also have some uh, really interesting pieces that are put together that will teach you about the basics of equities or stocks in this case, why in people buy shares and how to invest. We have our sectors or themes, which I'll go to in a little bit more detail later on. We have our today's gainers, losers, analysts, favorites, and upcoming earnings as in more resources. There's plenty to uncover and I'll leave you to have a look through this when you get back onto your platforms. But if you go to themes here, what you see is a number of tabs appear. So our head of equity strategy, Peter Garnery, and a member, number of the team members have put these baskets together. And what these do, uh, the overall methodology is to find interesting long-term themes and then the related companies that you're able to invest into on our platforms. So if you have a look, our best performing basket to date is in semiconductors. So if you're interested in semiconductors, all you need to do is click here, got a brief sort of run through about the focus, basically how this has been put together. And if you scroll down, you'll see the list of instruments that we have available. So NVIDIA, Taiwan Semiconductor, ASML, and then any related ETFs that are in the industry as well. Again, all of this is very interactive. So if you like the look of any of them, you can click on the name, do a little bit more reading, understand any news articles that have come out and then trade when you are ready. It's so all pretty straightforward. And that sort of um, interaction that I've shown you carries on throughout the whole platform. It's the same few clicks, same window will pop up, the same button to trade and execute. Again, number of headers, popular, ESG, technology, demographics, consumer and infrastructure. You can flick through all of them and spend a lot of time getting to understand the themes that we're focusing on and how they're performing in, uh, in, uh, in the environment today. Inspiration, again, this is the research hub. And one of the key things I want to highlight is our quarterly outlook that has just been published. So every quarter, our strats team get together and they put together an outlook for the queue ahead. So um, this one is titled The Fragmentation Game and really focusing on the sort of deglobalization of, uh, of the world. And they sort of put some investment themes in there, break them down by asset class. You can read the summary or you can break it down into the individual pieces. This one's by Peter Garnery, head of our equity strategy. And you can get an understanding of where his thoughts are, how he feels the, uh, the quarter ahead will go and beyond. So a great, great way of keeping up to speed and seeing what the uh, the investment analysts, and professionals on our side are saying. If you scroll down, you can up see upcoming webinars. If you're interested in joining any more, then you can see the uh, Q2 outlook and that'll be walked through by a member or two of our strats teams. You can see how ETFs are used to build a portfolio and just scroll through everything that's coming up. Our core themes relayed here and any sort of latest videos that have been published by the team can be found here. So this covers on Jessica Amir, our market strategist, and she focuses on the week ahead. You can then interact with the related instruments on the right if you like what you've heard or you feel that anything there is worth you uh, getting in on. If you scroll down here, our market podcasts are stored here. Again, Spotify, Apple Music, however you access them to listen in live. If you come across the webinars, you see upcoming webinars here. So again, same as what I just showed, anything in the past, so if you've attended, you've liked what you've heard and you want to tune back in, we held one of these platform walkthroughs on the 1st of March. You get click play and you can then watch through and just give it a listen and see if you missed anything or if Jeff covered anything that, uh, that I didn't. Hopefully we'll, uh, we'll have gone through everything in enough depth. But if you're wanting to watch the Q1 outlook or any technical analysis updates, again, all stored, webinars, past webinars, and you can play these whenever you're liking. Stop, start the videos, so that way you can give yourself some time to uh, to really look through. The education part of the platform, really good, and I think will um, will help hammer home some of the points that we're discussing now and go into a little bit more depth where needed. We host how-to guides, so this is showing how to customize your trading platform, how to build a watch list, which we covered. 
placing a stop loss order or monitoring open positions, all of this can be stored here. And as you can see, there's quite a number of videos to, to go through. If you come back, scroll to the top, all you need to do is click this back arrow and you come back to the main page. And one thing I think is really interesting and important is our risk management section. So this is put together by an external provider and it's teaching you the basic rules of risk management and some really simple things that you can follow to ensure that you are following, say, the 2% rule or adopting strong emotional intelligence when investing. And very basically, if we say select the 2% rule, you can click and watch the video, but it's just stating that you're only wanting to risk 2% of your portfolio or the position that you have and following a structured, simple rule each step of the way. So say if we use the stop loss example before, we had it set at 10%, but you can set it at 2%, meaning you're only risking 2% of your position. And if you follow that strict rule, it's just a way of ensuring you're not letting losses run too, uh, too long. But again, do get yourself familiar with this. Some great pieces. It doesn't take long to go through each of them and just really sort of uh, bolster up that skill set as, as an investor. If you come out of that, you can then go to the trade signal section. This will go over very, very quickly, but this is put together by a third party auto chartist and they're a technical analysis provider. So they have systems scanning the market, scanning the charts that will flag potential trading positions that you can then take a look at. So if we enable it for different asset classes down the left hand side, it will basically be spitting out trade ideas and analysis for a number of different positions. If you wanted to look into this and get a bit more information, toggle things down the left, view analysis here on the right, and that pop open a ticket that you can interact with. But I'll leave that for those that are interested in the more sort of technical analysis based investments. If you come here to news, it's a great way of keeping up to date. What we're really trying to do is stream everything to you in the platform so you can be kept in the know and you can make the right decisions based on what's, uh, what's put out. Again, you can search through if you're wanting to look for certain keywords, which could be, again, just using Apple as an example, type that in and that will show you any articles that have recently been published that feature the word, feature the stock, whatever it may be. As you can see, there's plenty that's streamed out to you. So there's plenty for you to, uh, to scan through if you are interested. If you're wanting to then keep up to date with um, any macro events coming out, earnings, any dividends coming up, whatever it may be, the calendar tool is the best place for you to be. So if you click on calendar, down the left, you can filter out the different events, different countries, and periods that you're tracking. So say if we're interested in the macro events over the next week, click it here, and this will show you week commencing the 10th, everything that's coming out, it should be noted on your calendar and that we think will be relevant to, uh, to our clients, investors, traders alike. And down here, you see the countries. So you can look at specifically, if we look at United States, US, that, and that will just filter out just to show you US events that are coming up. On the right, show you actual previous and estimated data points. Once you've gone through all of this, and it will take you a long time to go through the full research portal because there's plenty there for you to uncover, you can then click onto the portfolio section. And this is where you can really sort of view the back end of your account, view the positions that you have open, and, um, and basically track the performance of your uh, your trading account. Um, just one moment, let me pull up the demo account to show you a better view. And we go here to the account section. Um, just one second. Just going to prompt my account to load it up. Just seems like it was showing a blank screen. There we go, back into the demo. Apologies for the uh, for the delay there. So what you see is if you click on the portfolio section, you have a breakdown of the different accounts that you have and a how-to guide because we recently 
changed our portfolio section from this model over to the new theme here. So if you're wanting to learn more about it or give us any feedback on it, you click down at the bottom. But say we're wanting to get a breakdown, what you can do is click through any of the accounts that you have open or you can click the total down the bottom. If we click down to, uh, to this account here, you can see it's empty, so the data stream to you is pretty boring. We'll give you a quick crash course on the different tools and the ways that you can interact with it. So you can see the overview here, current historical data, and you can set dates in which you view the data here. Performance, if we pull up a different account. Performance here, you can see the performance over a certain period of time. You can use our handy slider tool. You can use the predefined dates here instead. And what this will do is it will show you the return over a certain period of time. Change in account value, return, and you can actually plot yourself against major indices to see how you're doing against a certain benchmark. What you'll also be able to do uh, is get PL breakdowns for the certain positions you have, and all of that is available in the performance section on the platform. If you're wanting to get a breakdown of your transactions that you've carried out in the past, be it cash injections to the account, be it any interactions, you can pull it back. This is just really good for record keeping and an easy way of putting the data. If you're then wanting to just focus on cash transfers, click on this. And if you're wanting to then pull it, click export, and we allow you to do it as an Excel or a PDF document. It's great when it comes to the tax end year or any just general sort of bookkeeping on your side. This allows you to uh, be kept in the know and pull the data with ease. Any upcoming corporate actions events can be found here. There's none here, but if there was, it'd show you the data which is happening, the election the status, the instrument, the event and your eligibility. So you can elect to have with Saxo your dividends paid as cash, or you can have them reinvested back into the stock. If you're wanting to have them reinvested and have that as an automated function, you can set up a dividend instruction, clicking in the top right, adding an instruction that goes, in all accounts, I want to receive securities rather than cash, and I want to do it on all my positions, and you click apply. And what that would do, is it's telling the system on all my accounts, on all my stocks, I want the dividend payments to be reinvested rather than paid as cash. You click apply and that will apply that on that side. If you're wanting to get any historical reports and get a little bit more, um, again, overview, click historic reports in the top right corner. Drop down here on the certain report that you're looking for. So if you're wanting to get a portfolio report, you're wanting to see the closed positions report, whatever it may be, and one thing that's very important at the moment is the account interest details. Given interest rates are being hiked globally, Saxo has decided to increase the amount of interest that we're paying you. So if you're wanting to keep tabs on that and track it, you click on that, you select the account you're after, and then you can again select the period or a PDF or an Excel document. A few clicks, and that's all you have to do. Again, the funding instructions, everything to do with the withdrawals, transfers, can be accessed here or in the upper right corner. Here, you can go to your account menu, and if you're wanting to get details about the account or rename the account, you can do so with a couple of clicks. That really sort of goes over the, uh, the full platform, the basics, and um, there's no questions in the, in the inbox, but please do fire some over. Um, that's a real sort of good basic wrap up of the platform. And I'll be happy to answer any more specific questions if, uh, if you have any. Okay, great. There's just one that, uh, that has appeared. Uh, and that's just wanting to go back over how to set up the stop loss. So again, watch list, click on the stock that you're interested in, click the trade button, select the market type or limit type. Again, as I mentioned, we do have advanced orders we can focus on these two select market then you add take profit slash stop loss you can set the take profit by clicking limit percent price usd or ticks so if you go percent five percent up and that's how you do it you simply click place order brian your your question there regarding um working with a trading college and be using pips instead of shares how do i access pips 
Um, are you looking at trading FX or are you trading stocks? What what uh, what are you uh, what are you trading there? If you can feedback, I'll be happy to um, to help with the question. There has been another one, uh, and the question is about trading on different exchanges. So, if you are wanting to interact with any of the stocks on the platform, and you note that they are traded on different exchanges and have different listings, then we do support many of these. So again, using Apple as an example. If you type it in here to the top right corner, you see there's an uh, Apple Inc. and then a three with an arrow down. If you click the arrow down, you will see we have a number of different listings. So Swiss, Italian, German, and US. Say we're interested in the German listing. You can click on this here, and this is Apple Inc. listed on the Deutsche Börse, and it's listed in euros. What you can then do, if you're wanting to change it back, Click on here and this allows you to then invest in your currency and get exposure in a different currency if that's what you are uh, are after. I've got a question here and if I pop this onto uh, onto the screen, it says do the stop loss orders and take profit orders activate pre-market or after hours too or just intraday? So these questions, oh, this question is a, is a great one. The take profit and stop loss orders will not be taken into account pre-market and after hours. If you are interested in the pre-market, we do allow the ability to access this. And on the US side, it's two hours prior to the open. I'm just showing you how to do this. You click the trade button here, order type. If we had it on simple orders, you click advanced, click on algo, strategies, pre-market limit, limit order, and we can put the order in at 160. And what this is telling the system is you're wanting to send this order into the pre-market with the ability and chance of being filled. Works the exact same as a regular limit order, but you're giving yourself the ability to trade two hours prior to the open. We currently do not offer post-market trading. But this is a great way of getting a, an additional um, sort of access point, and, uh, and that should answer your question there. Again, this is not for our take profit and stop losses. This is just for the placement of any fresh trades. If you're going long or if you're using, say, a CFD and going short. Or alternatively, if you're just selling your position off, you can set up the sell order to be a pre-market order. Any of the stop losses or take profits will only work in the intraday open market. So I hope that answers the, uh, the question there. What, uh, what we will do is we will save this webinar so you can view it at any time. If there's anything else that you require or wanting to go back over items, then please do just uh, just go back to the research section, webinars, past webinars, and you'll have the saved video here. But um, yeah, that seems to be all of the questions that, uh, that are flowing through. One thing I would like to, to indicate to you uh, we do have in the top right corner, as I mentioned, the ability to refer a friend. It's just a few clicks. So once you start interacting with the platform, if you do like the way things are going, if you've liked the webinar and you think you have any friends or colleagues that will benefit from our services, you can generate a personalized referral link. Again, you'll be able to benefit from this. So if your friend opens up an account and puts in the minimum, you receive £100 all the way up to 1000 so that's just a, a quick and easy way of one, allowing them to benefit from a great trading system, but two, you'll also get a little uh, thank you bonus from, from Saxo. And just one thing, um, if there's any other questions or anything at all, just so it's fresh in the memory, all you do is you click the support button in the top right corner. Many of our predefined questions can be found here, but anything you need, contact us, select the trading query function or whatever it's relating to. So positions and portfolio transfers, general inquiry, and you can write to the team through a case. You can give us a call or you can chat with us live. So really appreciate the time. If there's anything you need, please do reach out to us using these functions. We do have a great support portal online as well. If you go to our website, what you can do here is you can click support, support center, and you can utilize this to understand how to get started, how to add instruments, how to deposit and withdraw. Everything can be found here. But yeah, thank you for your time once again. If there's anything else you need, please do reach out to us. We'll, uh, we'll be happy to help. Have a good evening. Thank you very much.